Hey guys, TC Mave here with TC Gaming. Hope you guys are doing well. I uh, had a, one of the followers um, put up some things about the Control Rig Mannequin, which was just released by Epic. So uh, instead of me going through a bunch of uh, trying to figure out how this thing works and whatever, I, I went and did some research in order to learn about it. And I ran across some resources that might be helpful for you. So I just wanted to post them for you real quick in case you guys uh, get an opportunity to look at this. But basically, if you are in the marketplace and you go into browse in the marketplace when you go under the free epic games content you should find this control rig mannequin this was just released and it's a sample project which demonstrates an example control rig for engine 4's default mannequin now this is actually in 4.25 only from what i can see and so you'll want to make sure that you're upgraded to the latest engine version for this to work and then, of course, you just, uh, you know, accept that and then download it. But they didn't really list anything here as far as resources for this. So I wanted to take a look at it. It's actually, it looks like it's a pretty cool package where you can do some uh, interesting things with your animations and uh, kind of run them on the fly procedurally. And it shows in here that they actually have a rig graph that you can use to control your stuff while it's in, uh, in the actual editor instead of taking it out to some other third-party animation resource. So that's pretty cool. But, uh, oh, actually, while I'm in here, too, it looks like the spring sale is on up until June the 3rd. So today's the last day for a lot of that stuff that I've been talking about the last couple of days. Good luck. Hopefully you guys got your uh, your resources. And these just went up, so this is usually up for, like, the month. But uh, at any rate, if you go out in my um, description of the video, I put some of the links for the stuff I'm talking about in here. One of them is the link to this. There's also uh, Enhancing Animation with Control Rig from the Game Developer Conference in 2019 from Unreal Engine. And I scrubbed through this. This is actually a really good uh, really good package description in here. That's uh, Wes, I think his name is Bun, Wes Bun. He's the guy whose voice you hear in a lot of the videos, but uh, he does a good job with the training for, for most of these things. But in here, here's the overview of the control rig. He goes down and he talks about how to set this whole thing up. It's a really good live conference that they did. So again, I think you could learn more from this in a more detailed way a lot quicker than what I could put something together that's this comprehensive for a package like this. I'll try and learn it and help you, you know, if I can. But um, you really want to kind of go through this type of thing. And then also, there is a... Uh, section on the Unreal documentation for this. So if you go into the Unreal documentation, and the way that you get there, if you're under learning support in your Unreal Engine, just go to learning and support, go to documentation, and then you can do one of two things. Either where it says filter pages, you could type in control rig, and that'll filter this down to where you could find that. Or you could look under animation, how to's, just drill down through the menus that would get you there. But the control rig blueprint, this is an older page, so it shows in there that this was an experimental feature at the time that they put that out. Now it's actually uh, something that's enabled already, and you can just download the uh, package for it. But they show you a basic video of it, and then they give you the steps of how to enable it or how to use it in the package. And uh, so hopefully you guys get a chance to take a look at that. But that's for the uh, control rig released by Unreal Engine. And basically what it does is you can go in here and put blueprint nodes in there and actually drive animation behaviors from the script directly in here. And again, I, I would just go back and, and watch this. It's pretty comprehensive and uh, they do a good job of explaining it. But you can see what he does in here. He's basically going into the transforms for the bones. When you import your mannequin into this control rig environment, it actually gives you a spot where you can set up how to control each of these different points and then you can keyframe your animations in here and then play those back. And if I'm not mistaken in the documentation, I believe there's a way to export that uh, data to a, an actual anim file. So then I would believe you could retarget that or map it onto some uh, other things. And again, there's the docs.unrealengine.com engine animation control rig documents that are here to hopefully help you out with that. So. I'm going to make this a real short video and I'm going to get off of here. I'm getting ready to do another updated animation retargeting video for Cinti Polygon Resources. And the reason I'm doing that is because if you go back to my channel, um, one of the very first videos that I posted, may have actually been the first video that I posted, was uh, probably about 10 months ago, I think. And 
if you go in here, off I don't here. Play I'm off to do if you go in here and you look at my animation retargeting data video. newest or wherever I was at, I think the very first one I put up here was about Cynthia Polygon retarget about 10 months ago. And I still get some questions about this and there were some things that probably could have been optimized. So real quick, I'm going to do a live stream for this and try and make that just straightforward and quick with a an updated version that uh, talks about the advanced skeleton, uh, skeleton retargeting options and, and all those things. So you guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, that gets you pointing in the right direction on that uh, control rig animation stuff. All right. Thank you guys very much. And for some reason, my latest videos haven't been popping up um, as soon as I'm done editing them. I actually have one in the queue that I did several hours ago about some uh, free resources and some updates to that uh, one package. I see some people saw it because they probably got the notification. But hopefully these other videos start to pop up. Um, I'm not seeing them in here, but they're actually in my YouTube studio. So we'll figure that out. Thanks again for watching, and I will catch up with you guys very soon. Thanks.